yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today, uh, we are here to talk about the Wizarding Weekend event coming up uh, May 29th, that is this Friday uh, through June 1st. And um, I want to share uh, three or four of my tips that I will be applying to get ready for this event. And um, I'm excited to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's dive right into the tips. All right, let's start with tip number one. Uh, something that I will be focusing on is brewing dawdle and extemulo potions. Now you guys may be wondering, James, why those specifically? Uh, and I have a good reason. Uh, a, Foundables have been departing at an increased rate as of late. I've been experiencing, I've been reading some of your comments and you guys have been experiencing, and now we just found out from Orange Wizard that they lowered the task number for the uh, specific uh, Foundables for the event. With the increased Foundables with this update, it has decreased event Foundables, which I don't know how that works, but that has been the case. And we see it with the Brilliant event. So, we don't know when this bug is going to get fixed. I need to make sure when I see a Harry, when I see a Hermione, I return it. So, Dawdles is one of the best ways to make sure they don't depart. And of course, Stimulo Potions, uh, the strong and the potent if you have the ingredients for them. So, that's why I'm focusing on those two potions uh, specifically. Obviously, the tonic will allow you to see the uh, foundables in the first place. And then with the brew for a brain elixir, uh, if you come to those rare, rare foundables from Hermione and uh, Harry, you get 500 with the brew for a brain elixir when you come across Hermione and 1,000 when you come across uh, Harry with the brew for a brain elixir. So um, obviously we'll have those in hand as well. But uh, the Dotto Extemulo Potions, you don't want to miss your chance of returning those rare foundables because we don't know if we're going to have as many chances as we thought in encountering them. So that's my tip number one for you guys. Next up, tip number two, and that is try to work on your magical games and sports registry pages and try to fill up those fragments as much as you can leading up to the Wizarding Weekend event. Here's why I say this. It's a great way to give yourself a head start and to focus on the foundables that are not included for the event. Here's what I mean by that. Here's an example. If we go into my registry page, the very first page, the World Cup grounds in your Magical Games and Sports page, uh, you can see I've placed three foundables around the two that are going to be featured for this event. And what's so clutch is I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for this event just on this page alone. And we know the Chutley Cannon player is going to be featured and the Quidditch World Cup is going to be featured. So now that I have everything else, the magical microphone is placed, the quaffle is placed, all of those are placed. When I start the event, I just need a couple of the event specific foundables, place them and boom, I can get this page into gold, which is clutch. So that's a way of working around the event specific foundable so that way you have a head start and you're ready for the event. Uh, ways to do this. The brilliant event has actually been helpful with this. That is how I got the magical microphone um, for this page through the brilliant events this month. Same with the quaffle for the brilliant event. That has been super helpful. Another way to do this is riding the night bus. If we go down, you can see I need the Quidditch through the ages. And so if I need to use my Magical Games and Sports Rune Stones, try to find as many of these as I can just to give myself a head start because we're going to get a ton of Rune Stones from this event anyway. So those are the two ways that can help you prepare for this event, riding the night bus and utilizing the brilliant event however long you have. So that's our tip number two for you guys. All right, next up, tip number three we have for you guys. Make sure you have ways of replenishing your energy for this event. Start planning out your ways to do this. Reason I say that, you need spell energy. That's obvious. And especially with the rarity of some of these foundables that could happen, particularly Hermione's and the Harry Quidditch uh, player or Quidditch Captain Harry, uh, you don't want to be low on energy and come across these foundables and you're like, crap, I need energy. So make sure you have ways of doing this. Uh, one, spell energy gifts. 
Those are always clutch. You can start requesting those now. Letting your friends know, Discord, Facebook groups. Just, hey, I want to start collecting spell energy gifts. Start sending me those instead of runestone gifts. I want to be ready for the event. That's one way you can do that. Another way is if you're able to in your area, walk around. Walk around. If you can see it in my neck of the woods, a couple of blocks, there's like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 14 ends just in the four block radius of where I'm at right here. So I usually just plan a trip throughout the day. Hey, I'm getting low. I'm going to hit up some ends. I don't use my tonic, so I don't use up the tonic and trying to replenish my energy. Once I get back home, I start the process back over and start trying to return as foundables as much as I can with the spell energy I have. So that's a great way. If you're unable to walk around, maybe if you need to go to the store, plan on hit visiting some inns while you're going to the store. Like there's ways to do this, but you want to make sure you have a plan for this because it's three days and you want to try and maximize this event as much as you can, especially those rare foundables for this event. So that's our tip number three for you guys. Our fourth and final tip we have for you guys is to see if you can find a group of players to ride the night bus with during this event. Here's why I say that. Uh, one of the tasks for this event is to use your Magical Games and Sports Rune Stones uh, while riding the night bus. And getting a group of people with all the Rune Stones we're going to be getting this weekend is a great way, especially the higher chambers you go, is a great way to ensure your odds of getting those uh, Fortress Foundables with those rune stones. So I want to encourage you guys, try to plan a day, try to plan, try to reach out to people. Discord is a great way to do that. If you guys are afraid of Discord, which I know some of you guys are, Facebook is a great way to do that as well. We actually have a Facebook group. And what's so cool about Facebook groups is you can create chat rooms where you can use Facebook Messenger or just chat and ride the night bus, find each other, exchange friend codes, and start riding the night bus so you can maximize your fortress foundable fragments the higher you go in the fortresses. So I wanna encourage you guys, plan a day, maybe you can't do it Friday, but maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. T try to plan a day, try to plan a day where you can find a group, start reaching out now, and uh, yo, have some fun with it, cause yo, it's clutch. It's clutch. Riding the night bus and playing with others is so clutch. And again, the higher chambers you go, the more of the odds you're going to come across your fortress uh, foundables with the runestone you use. So that's our tip number four for you guys. But yo, that's going to be it. That's going to be it from your boy. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. I am. Uh, I cannot wait. I am hopeful that uh, this event will be fun. I'm very hopeful, but if it's not, I'm always enjoying just chilling with you guys, riding the night bus, or just returning some foundables, especially Quidditch foundables. So uh, that being said, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you guys have any tips or suggestions to share with the Wizards Unite community, drop them in the con comment section below. Let me know, and let's talk some Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Um, Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much uh, for just watching the video and hanging out. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you are new and this is your first time, consider subscribing to the channel. Here you begin all the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content, gameplay tips, news, and updates. Uh, so if that's your jam, something you're into concerning Harry Potter Wizards Unite, uh, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Also, if this video was helpful, uh, yo, drop a like. That always helps. That always helps the video and the channel. So consider doing that if this was helpful. Um, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I talked about the Facebook group we have. Uh, consider checking us out there if you're not into Discord. Uh, yo, we got a little bit of something for everybody. We're gonna have some Discord channels. I'll have those links below as well. But yo, there's ways to find a community and like reach out and find friends to play with. So yo, let's start connecting and uniting uh, while playing Wizards <laughs> Unite. But yo, again, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until 